Hello kids. You have learned numbers. You have also learned how to add different numbers. But do you know that these numbers and addition can actually help you in solving different problems? You can use these numbers and addition in several everyday life problems. So let's understand through few examples. Let's solve this problem. Rahul has three books. Neha has four books. How many books do they have all together? We have to find out how many books Rahul and Neha have all together. Now see, number of books Rahul has three and the number of books Neha has four and all together they have means Neha and Rahul have three plus four which is is equal to seven. Now let's solve this problem. Nitin ate four muffins. Anya gave him two more muffins to eat. How many muffins did Nitin eat? Nitin ate four muffins. One, two, three, four. And Anya gave him two more muffins to eat. One, two. And the total number of muffins that Nitin ate, four plus two, that is, is equal to six. Now let's solve another problem. Two ducks are playing in a pond. Five more join them. How many ducks are there in the pond? Wow! As you can see in the picture, two ducks are playing in the pond. Suddenly, five more came and joined them. Now, what you have to do? You have to count the total number of ducks. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So, all together, 7 ducks are playing in the pond. Wow! How fun solving these problems. So, let's solve one more problem. Gaurav colored two flowers. Pankaj colored one flower. How many flowers did they color in all? Number of flowers Gaurav colored two. One, two. Number of flowers Pankaj colored one. So, the total number of flowers Gaurav and Pankaj colored two plus one that will be 3. Hooray! We have one more problem to solve. Sonia has 4 pencils. Arun has 1 pencil. How many pencils are there in all? So what we have to do? Again we have to add. Number of pencils Sonia has 4. Number of pencil Arun has 1. So the total number of pencils they have 4 plus 1 which will be equal to 5. Thank you. I hope you have understood the concept of addition word problem. This will help you to solve several everyday life problems. For example, you go for shopping and this addition and numbers can help you find out what amount of money do you need to pay to the shopkeeper. It also helps you to find out the number of items you need to buy. In fact, it is very interesting that you can solve not only yours but others problem also.